라운드 업 24, 제스트, 주성, DRG, 박수, 임팩트, 김준일, 큐어, 김동. 아프리카 TV, 브레이크업 스튜디오 라이브, 2020, GSN 시즌, 코드에스, 쇼다운. It's time for the final match in Group C of the GSL CODAS. Uh, we just finished Impact versus DRG. It was very exciting to have DRG back, but Impact with some great cheese there in the end. Three spine crawler rush over the spawning pool. Uh, Lings and drones pulled, of course. He survives, at least for now, but it will be Impact versus Cure. For this final best of three, one player moves on to the round of 16. The other is out of season one of the 2020 GSL Code S. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think that is pure favorite, but I really want to see more of Impact's strategy he was using for the more aggressive, uh, tradey, mutilisk, uh, zergling strategy. I thought that was really cool, uh, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. So hopefully we can see it. Nightshade will be our first map. You know, I talked about this before the uh, games all started. Impact and Cure in some ways have been in the same spot in their careers. People had very high hopes. They're, of course, very good players, but never got to the very, very tip top of the races. Let's see which one story continues on in this season. Let's go. Performance of Sagada. LG Ultra Kiowa. Number one energy drink. Hashix가 이번 전투를 지원한다고. Team LP Impact 김준영. Dragon Phoenix Gaming Cure 김도. Action, Artosis, go take, go cast the game. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Best of three, number five, act one, Artosis <laughs> casting, and action. Oh, oh sorry, reset. I forgot restart. my lines. <laughs> I'll be in my trailer. I forgot my lines. I'll pick it up when the Reaper gets over to their base. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh. It's so good to be busy again. You and me are the only people in the world that get to be busy right now. Everybody else has to stay at home. And Yeah, that is kind of weird, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because we actually didn't have any work before coronavirus. We were the people waiting around like, man, we need to get a job again, man. This is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was cool for the first maybe like month and a half, two months of, you know, having this time off. And then it's like, oh, this is what people are talking about when yeah, no, you need I to have need a job or something to do or... I need to I need to cast some stuff regularly. So we're back. But what what, what is the term they're using in the U.S. Um, people that need to keep working through yeah, the pandemic? Yeah, is, yeah. Uh, what is like, that called? Uh, something about the jobs really being needed. I people that need to work through the pandemic, and then people at GameStop. Was <laughs> Did you see yeah. that? Yeah. GameStop was like staying open, and mm -hmm. you can buy games on the internet. <gasps> Look at that. No, let's not look at this because... Oh, he got a Ling! <laughs> look at you, Mr. Casterman, thinking you know everything. He got a Ling this time. <laughs> wow, this Thesis, is already... you're such a fool. Oh, my God. This game is already so full of plot twists. It's yeah. been a real, a real roller coaster. Damn, I never thought he'd get that Ling. Yeah. Well, now Queen I... Queen was just like... How's he going to recover is the question. He pressed the wrong button when it was time to make the queen? Like, what's going on? 
you know? It's like he doesn't even care. He doesn't even care anymore. He's like, oh, I can't beat him anyway. I'll lose a lane. You might as well just give up. So... Who takes the Sartosis? Cure. Probably two to zero. I think Cure takes us two to one. Two to one? You're crazy, Tasis. I am. I'm a madman. I've completely lost I'd like to see it, but it needs to be with that Ling... It has uh, to be Ling based Muta. off of... Yeah. It has to be with that cool Ling Muta play that we were seeing before, because that stuff... The thing is, I don't even... I, I don't mind anything happening, as long as he's going to play a cool style like that. That's what I want to see. I want to see that and three sunken rushes. Uh oh Citizen's Arrest. Oh. By the way, three drones killed. It's actually not that much, considering how much he's thrown in here. Mm. Looks like your boy Cure's going down, Artosis. Nah, I think it's fine. Another drone goes down. Hellion's continuing to be made. There is going to be a Banshee coming here later on, so we need to watch for that as well. Four drones falling. Look at this. Now this Overlord's dead. I just want to see if there's a Banshee. Oh, there's the Banshee. There's a Banshee. I guess my life's over now. At least I had a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> and then Zerg loses this game. It's like it was all for naught. So the Hellions are going to come in once more. The second Banshee, by the way, on the way. And it's going to be a third CC here for Cure. So Cure is basically setting up to put heavy pressure on, heavy harass, and then try to get this third CC up and then probably power this into a push. Yeah, Things on the yeah, Zerg exactly. side are, are pretty ambiguous for now as he's just going to continue to attack up and drone up and try to defend these attacks as they come on here. We see some Evo Chambers come down now. Now, let us not forget the parable that has been impacted in ZBT before. Yeah. Forgetting to get both upgrades at both EVOs. Yeah, it's quite important. See if he nails it this time. Also, is he going to go directly into Mutas? Is he going to get mainly speed a bit quicker? Remains to be seen. Third CC going to be finishing up pretty quickly here for Kira. There's both the upgrades. In fact, Melee even started first. It shows you how serious yeah. he is about it. Never again. It's not as important as Carapace. Well, Impact was play playing some great games, guys. But if you guys missed the first half of our games today, he just got, in two games, he got two Evos and only upgraded on one of them. Maybe the other was waiting around for Vipers. Yeah, I would, that's right. He just makes it early at the same time. Yeah. He's trying to throw them off. It defends the other Evo because maybe your opponent gets in, doesn't look which one's wiggling, and targets that one. That's right. More and more Ling's being made now as 1-1 one, one upgrades are coming here. So nobody seems to be missing a beat this, uh, this time around here. And by the way, uh, you know, at this point in time, Cure's done actually some great damage throughout this harass, killing yeah. off a lot of workers yeah. here. Shaving them down. And his harass overall today has been very good. I think it has to be to really be a top Terran, right? You need to mm -hmm. slow him down a little bit. So already just in that um, sweep there, nine drones killed. Mm -hmm. The third base is being taken in a location that it's uh, easier to launch an attack from. And of course, with the depots here, you can always try to just wall this off if Lings do try to counterattack. Push is coming out. Some pain Lings on the way. And this is what we really want to watch for, because Cure's had some hit or miss control here with these pushes as well. I mean, he's had... Oh my god, he can't close that because the Marines are on top of that. Which is... This is pretty bad here. Now, we, I was before that attack happened, I secured had some hit or miss attacks here, depending on how much stuff was going on on the map. So let's see if he gets the siege tank up in siege mode and controls well enough against the banelings. I think this uh, yeah, fourth hatch is going to have to be canceled. He's going to do a little bit of a dive here to try to see if he can't do some damage to these banes before um, they, they can yeah. connect. Oh my god, it's going to finish. And I think if he can take this attack on, he could possibly take this out. Uh, one of the banelings kind of hits. He throws the transfusion out. He brings up all of his queens. The problem is Zerg might end up over committing here trying to defend this. I mean, it seems like Terran's just barely winning this fight. Impact is actually up to upgrades. If he just had a reasonable clump of lings all together, I think he's actually yeah. going to save the hatch, but the, at uh, quite a cost. For now. For nigh. Yeah, this is like, I think this hatch is for sure going to go down, right? I mean, look at this. He's going to have new medevacs coming in here. But to get transfused a little bit, but yeah, the tank's being sieged up. That's a difficult hold. That would be difficult to hold with a full health hatch. Yeah, and so this hatchery will go down. He's scanned here to just see if he can free up the banelings that would come in here and try and do attack, but uh, 
that's not going to be the story this time around as he's going to be able to clean out the hatchery as well as all the bailing nests. Now, Impact has expanded and shifted his attention over here to the bottom center right there at 6 o'clock. Yeah, and we've seen him do reasonably against Kier in the previous series, even though he lost his fourth base, right? Like, he kept his drone count reasonably high and uh, just transitioned to other bases. One thing I find interesting, though, is we don't have any additional tech and we don't have bailing speed. That's true. Bailing speed is one of the more important upgrades in this file. Well, in the entire game, I mean, the ability to get your bailings to do maximum damage to the targets. To hit their targets. Yeah, because if they don't, then they can get shot down. You can micro much more easily against bailings yeah. that are not rolling. They're using their little bailing feet. Yeah, they're the little chihuahua feet. So feet. Good. They're much better at rolling. It's like penguins don't walk downhill, they slide on their bellies. Exactly. And there's a reason for that. How do the banelings see when they're going, where they're going when they're rolling? The Overmind tells them. They have a collective Zerg brain, tasteless. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh. Now, this is like very hard here for yeah. the Zerg to win, because it's like you're not going to get the tanks. Every time you get close, they're going to pelt you again. By the way, banelings speed is a little bit under halfway done now, but uh, that's far off enough that this hatchery won't be saved. And so we're just sort of oh seeing. God. Tear and win this game of whack a mole. Whack a hatch. Whack a hatch. Hatcheries pop up, and there's old Cure to, to whack him and get those free tickets. If he gets about 3,000 tickets, he can buy that PlayStation 1 game, the Spyro the Dragon or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you just Dragon need to Phoenix spend. Gaming, am Dragon I right? Phoenix Gaming, boys and girls. All right, well, a little counterattack here. Uh, not really G -G. doing that much. That's yeah. enough for Tosis. GG! <laughs> okay, Kira really smashed Impact that game. Yeah. Really got him good. I, uh, I think we're going to have to see better games here from Impact. I mean, he's... Well, clearly. He's just not... He doesn't have any of this stuff he needs to just hold off a basic push. It's unfortunate. Yeah, and Kira's executing it well, but his early harassment leads into this, right? Because you have to replace your drones, and then you're a little bit low on lings, and then, you, you know, it's a little bit harder. You lose extra lings in the battle because you don't have critical mass, and it all snacks up in snowballs. I think I was wrong. I think it's... I think it's going to be 2-0. I think you were right, Artos. Yeah. I think I owe you an apology. I don't accept it. Or you're about to be made the fool, Artosis. Maybe I will be. I you're going to run out of here fool. crying. You're going to be like, no. Oh, <laughs> impact's winning. You're just trying to hold back your tears, and you can't see the screen because you were wrong, and I was right. That's and fun. I go, he's one GG, and you just get up and run. And then Kira beats him quickly with a double box rack <laughs> on the third map. <laughs> I'm still crying on my way <laughs> yeah, home. Yeah, you don't even know. And I can't stand yeah, it. And I got to call you later. I'm like, you got fired for not finishing the cast. I'm sorry about that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Game two is ready. Let's go. Kim LP, Impact. Kim Junior. Dragon Phoenix Gaming, Cure, Kim Dong. Wonder what the LP stands for. Could it be Lion Phoenix Gaming? I think it could be. Yeah. Lay Potato Chips Gaming. I mean, so many things Possibly. it could be. Possibly. Okay, so Purity in an Industry. We had this map vetoed the last time these guys played. Yeah, we don't get to have. A this lot one of, gets vetoed a lot. Yeah, we don't get to cast this map a lot, although it has made for some very cool games. Yeah, it's kind of the biggest map, and it's got those bubulas all floating in the sky somehow. Bubulas slow things via gravity, right? We agreed on that? Yes. We settled that. But, Science settled that a long time ago, Artosis. But didn't Interstellar show us that gravity affects time? Yes. So in the bubulas, like, does that affect time? I don't know. If you Maybe. morph Broodlords in the Bubulas, does it go faster or slower? Maybe right now innovation is, is not innovation, excuse me, Impact is just behind a bookshelf somewhere trying to yell and try to cheat to win the GSL and help his former self. <laughs> and meanwhile, he's got his block box Artosis walking around that Lego thing. From uh, Oh, God, I forgot to show you that video. 
I can't believe you you forgot about this. Yeah, sorry, man. The robot from uh, Interstellar is the funniest robot of all. That is exactly what you would be like as a robot. Like a block a really that kind of robot. moves. Yeah, just, no, awesome. just a block. Like It would be your voice talking exactly as you are, but it would just be, oh, you have to see it. Today's a wash, Artosis. I'm Today's sorry. Wash, yeah. Makes a few extra lings here. So even though you're slowed down by going through the bubulas, I still feel like it's very tempting to do a huge drop into the main. I mean, you can't ignore the fact that this is still yes, of course, just yeah. so accessible. Totally. And I tell you what doesn't get slowed by bubulas. Nidus. <gasps> Which now well, we you know, know Nidus that... would be good on any map because it's not slowed down. You don't have to be close. It's like the Nidus like has to move through the bubulas. <laughs> okay, That's the funny thing about the Nidus is you can have it like just on an island where you're like it's in space. It's like where does his body through space? Is there like a, a tube underground with his Nidus body? Yeah. Worm balls, man. It's literally a Nidus worm. Worm hole. Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Holy grail, right? <laughs> Am I doing it right? You're doing yeah, it yeah, right. Yeah. Oh. So. Yeah, actually, maybe he would do some kind of nidus, though. Oh, no. uh, uh, he has to have a plan here, though, if he chose this map, right? I would think so. It's yeah. a big map. Uh, really, the biggest. Um, We've also seen so the, the it's hard to kill someone early. Like, these pushes that Kira's been doing, they're not going to pick off hatcheries. You know? It's just sure. it's too far, the travel time. What about the upper right spot? Oh, the island? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I think Terran might take that. Like, I would like for Terran to start trying to take that, because I think if you put down, like, a planetary and a siege tank there... Yeah, pretty hard to deal that's with. That's pretty hard to deal with. <laughs> um, it can be annoying, though, to set up islands. By the way, you know that uh, it's possible to make bubulas that are fast now, right? Bubulas? No. <laughs> no. Artosis, if you agree with me right now, we can just change the world. But I got I got a better one. Dubulas. Oh, Dubulas. Because it, like, doubles your speed. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. I think Fubula is funnier. Fubula is so stupid. <laughs> it's the dumbest <laughs> thing I'm saying it. <laughs> hey, you just say the first thing that comes Let's to your mind. Let's destroy the world together, Artosis, you and I. <laughs> oh, man. He's going to push through here. I like this play. Oh, my God, barely gets away from that Widow Mine here. But Roaches are actually going to be counterattacking. Wow! <laughs> Meanwhile, these Marines are shooting, but Lings are fighting back. All right, let's see what those Roaches get done. Oh, God, nothing at all. That's what. This is the funny thing about the map, right? You're walking slow Roaches across it. They get there, there's like max siege tanks yeah. ready to... Maybe we can play some of your favorite music, Artosis. Dubula stuff. Jeez. <laughs> get out of town. Um, oh, I'm going to tell our producer get you Trubula. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is oh. just going completely terribly. Now he's trapped in here. It's like in Watchmen. He's like, you're trapped in here with me. Remember when the ginger guy said that? Yeah, watch that. Okay, so he was, he was flying out for an attack, so the roaches at least made him turn around. So I guess that's good. Okay, I think he's gonna go for the main maybe, but look at this, impact's already ready. He's gonna send some links up here. Yeah. Spire's still a ways out. Just drops off on the island, I'm like, what? Yeah. That's a lot of spy to hold something that doesn't no. have any bases. And then Nidus comes into his main, we're like, well, I guess he loses, okay. <laughs> nice Spire on the way right now. Here he comes, here he comes. Around the bubulas. Oh no, Drop impact's on out the of position. Missile systems. Three tanks, siege it up, siege it up. And the Spire is like halfway done. This is actually so bad right now. And with the minerals here, it gets in the way. Oh, man. That's the layer two. So like, oh, God, look oh. at that one Widow Mine. Oh, my God. He's like, I'll just burrow right here. Well, could have done a lot better there, Widow Mine. Oh, this is so oh, tough. My he's got to hold it. Target that pure. Oh, my God. He's going to actually win this fight, too. He's going to win, then he's going to get to have his cake and eat it, and then have all cakes and eat them in the future. It's crazy. All cakes are his for all, all time. All cakes are his for all time. 
And now he's gonna get the Spire. Okay, Impact's just gonna die here. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> this could not get any worse. Like, we get a shot of Impact on camera, and there's a face hugger on his face. We're just like, oh my god. <laughs> Everything is going wrong. Like, well, we have his face on camera. There's no face hugger yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Unless it looks exactly like his face, which would really be the greatest camouflage for well, this that's an evolved face one. hugger. It's a face hugger on the uh, back of the... It's like, it's just a different face. Why do you look like Impact today? <laughs> I'm trying to mumble through the face hugger what's going on. <laughs> so this is this is pretty bad. So Kira is still in the base. He's actually bringing more units in. Look at this. He just keeps bringing in. Impact units is in. having a bad day here, unfortunately. I feel for him too because he's a lot better than this. But this has just been an off day overall for him. Ooh. Now the muters are gonna get shot down. Oh, in the pool. GG. Kira right. just murdered. Yeah. And thank uh, God, because Artosis was so worried I was going to be right, and he was going to cry like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what was going to happen. Yeah. I would never let you live it down. Well, this group, really with no surprises, I would say. Zest in first place, Kira in second. That seems about right. Yeah, every once in a while we'll have kind of crazy days full of plot twists. This was like, oh, yeah. You know, like some of those turn-based uh, uh, civilization-type games where you have the two armies, and they're going to meet? And you could sit and like try to control the battle, or you can have the AI do it for you. you yeah. Know what I'm talking about this is like one we could have had the AI do for us, mm -hmm. and then we would say, yeah, those are the results we thought we were gonna get. There you go. Andy, go ahead. All right, we're gonna have an interview with Chor, the second winner of Group C. Congratulations. Thank you. You defeat Impact twice, and now you move on to the round of 16. How do you feel? Well, first of all, my group consists of all, all, consisted of all the formidable players, so I was quite nervous, but I'm really glad that I went up. And you said that you practiced a lot, and your performance was phenomenal today. Uh, it was really amazing to see your fight in Eternal Empire. And it was really unfortunate when you um, went up against the opponent's Colossus as well. What do you have to say? In the second game, I felt like I had the advantage and I performed and I executed the move. And then Zest went to Colossus and that happened to be my downfall. And I intended to do, um, do a two drop rush and fall back, but I think I overcommitted and then I lost that match and it was quite unfortunate. But in the first match, you show some amazing plays like the anti armor missile. And how, how much practice do you um, do these days? Recently, um, I try to play at least 30 games a day. I mean, I can't do more than 30, but that's my objective so far. And now you move on to the round of 16, thanks to your solid practice. And your um, last year GSL record was the round of 16. What about this year? Well, I mean, this year I went to the round of 8 for GSL Super Tournament, so I at least want to go to the round of 4 for GSL this season. Okay, we expect good things from you, Cure. Anything you want to say before you go? Well, I prepared a lot and I practiced a lot. But I don't think I delivered my performance that well today. But next time, I'll try to put on a better performance. Congratulations on making it to round the 16, Cure. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Artosis, thank you. You're welcome. You. Yeah, you're welcome, Tasteless. Uh, so here we are, right? Uh, it, was a, it was a pretty good day. And the first two days are better. Were they? But that's okay. You have to have... You can't always have the best day. I thought DRG Impact was a pretty good series. Yes, it was. I enjoyed the, the, the DRG Impact series for sure. Cure was pretty good series. Yes, that was also not bad. The other ones? Yeah, the other one's a little me. But we're going to make up for it because Group D is not far away. That's right. It's not, is it? It's just a few days away. It's Wednesday. Yeah. That's not that far away at all. No. Because today's Saturday. 
Yeah. And the day after that is Sunday. And then. It actually is kind of a long way away. And then Monday. Like Wednesday and to Saturday Tuesday. isn't bad, but Saturday to Wednesday. Oh, that's like, that's too long. That's kind of ridiculous. I said something and now I, I regret it. Yeah. Oh. In the grand scheme of things, it's not that far away. Like a month is further away life. than that, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Okay. Like I'm two months. Now. I'm like, are you kidding me? This yeah, is yeah, so yeah. much closer than two months away. It's closer than a hundred years. <laughs> it's definitely closer, it's definitely than, closer years. than that. Okay. But it's like so much further than like 15 minutes. And here are our pro gamers. They look like they all crashed their World War II airplanes and are stranded somewhere. Yeah. Will they get home? We will find out. <laughs> Dude, this group. This group is going to be a lot of fun. Yes. This a is actually a lot be a of group. fun. I'm really looking forward Just to Just parting being there already makes it so. Yes, he's so fun to cast. Yeah, yeah. But Dream is ridiculous right now. He's like the other cure. Yeah. And, of course, you can't count out Ragnarok. He's been playing really well for about a year now. And Creator has his ups and downs. Mostly downs since 2012, but <laughs> yeah, a few ups, too. We'll see how he plays. Every GSL is an opportunity for him to prove himself for him to upgrade himself to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. That's why we keep doing the show. The story is not done yet. Yeah. So, uh, and there's also the him him and Parting playing in the same group. It's kind of cool because remember, 2012, that's when Creator got super far with Parting. That's true. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining us here today. And do not forget that tomorrow we have the ASL. Uh, again, we're sorry that nobody can, can come down to the studios, but hopefully when we beat coronavirus... You guys will be back down here to hang out. Yeah. I know we have a lot of people that visit, a lot of people that just live in Korea that like to come up uh, and enjoy the show. And uh, frankly, I prefer casting to a live audience. It is kind of, I mean, I think we've gotten used to it now, but its it was weird at first being in an empty studio. Yeah. Normally we have lots of people in here. Um, that is true. Yeah, but uh, do watch ASL yeah. tomorrow. That's a third place, fourth place match. And that has Flash in it who's the greatest gamer of all time amongst all gamers in the world ever. So that's going to be very fun. Yeah. Well, if he was the greatest gamer, wouldn't he be in the finals? Turn the stream off. You're done. <laughs> You're too stupid to watch. He lost at an upset. It's pretty crazy. Um, ASL competition yeah. still yeah. fierce there as well. Um, take care of yourselves, guys. Try to stay inside if you can. Uh, keep your hands clean. Wear a mask. Don't touch your face. There Is you that go. It? That's, uh, Use hand sanitizer. that's the important things. Yeah. Uh, drink a lot of water. Water's good for you. Get some vitamins, maybe. Vitamins are important. Yeah. I'm actually surprised how many people don't take vitamins. Like, they don't take anything? Like, you don't take anything at all? Yeah, there's some people think that vitamins don't really do anything. You're supposed to get all your vitamins out of food, but well, it's very ideally, difficult but to do. Yeah. Get all your vitamins out of food. Vitamin C, probably a good thing to take right now. Yeah. Eat an orange, you know, that helps. I'm not going to eat an orange. Mushrooms, strawberries, yeah. bananas. Those are good. Not oranges, though. I'm not a fan of eating oranges. Um, what about the small oranges like tangerines or mandarins? Yeah, I'm, I'm more tolerant of those Yeah, a oranges. regular, like a navel orange. Like not a big as good. orange. I'm like, yeah. let me just eat this big ball. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> the whole thing? <laughs> You're no. so cool. I wish I was like you, but I'm just not. Yeah. When I cast these games, I pop the collar up. You probably wonder why I do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I don't know when we can close this out because I think our Korean casters are talking uh, a lot as usual. It was a shorter day, by the way. Was it? It's 4:20. Nice. Perfect time <laughs> to the show. Oh, close it quick. <laughs> All right, guys. We love you. Uh, take care of yourselves. Be safe, and we'll see you tomorrow for the ASL third place, fourth place match. Have a good morning, afternoon, or night wherever you are. <laughs>